Okay, here we go. These are my little custom menus. And they all live inside this folder. So they're self-contained. And they don't interfere with the main menu at all. That's the three of them. All pretty basic, but they're pointing there looking for the desktop files, the dot desktop files. Rather than in user share applications. Um, as I said, I've been using these for 10 months. And yeah, I've changed them a little bit, but every time I put a new operating system on, I just copy one folder over and point at it and create the menus in the panel. All very simple. But I've very quickly got a very familiar desktop that's easy to live with. And of course, if it's thought that these are worthwhile, then it would be really worthwhile to do a, a menu editor. One that you can point at the menu you want to edit instead of it being hard-coded into the bloody editor. I tried a la carte, um, LX, Med, and neither of them can you point at a menu to edit. It automatically assumes you're using, going to edit a particular one, which is bloody ridiculous. You should be able to point at the menu you want to edit and point at where the application files are going to be stored. And that's how easy it is to create menus once you've got them set up. I don't know, maybe it would be worth creating a, a menu application for the GNOME panel. Can't be all that much in it. my Firefox speed dial which I couldn't live without to be honest it's so easy to get around in and maintain I never managed to keep on top of bookmarks they always ended up a mess but speed dial does it for me I like using that icon box instead of the taskbar thingy takes up hugely less room. Look at the difference in size. Now I'm flapping about trying to get rid of the bloody thing. Well, let me. Shut them down. 
empty it and get rid of it. it takes up far too much room. I like just that little icon up there. You know what it is. You can see which one is active. It just does the job. I love that speed dial. Always use the same profile. Well, you did ask me what I wanted. <laughs> Bye for now.